Hello, I'm Gary Cleveland with Cleveland Helicopter Services here in Plymouth, Indiana. And in this video, we will talk about helicopter blade coning. Now, as a disclaimer, as I've stated in other videos, I'm not an artist, but I do draw pictures to try and help you understand what I'm talking about. And these videos that I'm placing on my YouTube channel are simply there to help you learn the helicopter ground topics for free. So one day when you come to fly with me to work on a rating, you may have saved yourself a lot of time by watching the videos beforehand. So let's talk about blade coning real quick. Okay, once again, I'm not an artist. This is a helicopter. Skids, rotor blades. Now, these rotor blades, if you've ever been hands-on with a helicopter doing pre-flight, you never pull down on them because they're not designed to have strength that way. But if you were to get on a ladder and you were to push up on these blades, you will notice that they bend easily as you push them up. In fact, let's make believe that this helicopter is sitting in a hangar and we have a couple of uh, chain hoist from the ceiling. And let's say we hooked onto the blade here and here and we just started lifting on this helicopter. These blades would just bend until they broke. The helicopter would never come off the ground. So how is it that these blades can stay pretty much straight out when the helicopter is flying? With a certain degree of tolerable coning. It's because of centrifugal force. It's the outward force created due to the revelations per minute or the RPMs of the helicopter. It creates a rigid blade. So that brings us to talk about the manufacturer's recommended RPM. and max gross weight. If you allow the RPM to drop below the operating range, you are going to get more coning because you are not spinning the blades at the RPM that the manufacturer decided that these blades need to spin in order to be rigid enough to support the weight of the helicopter. Likewise, if you exceed the max gross weight, you've got the same problem. The manufacturer has decided at what speed these blade tips need to be spinning for that blade to be rigid enough to support the weight of the helicopter. And so if you exceed the max gross weight, you're going to get excess coning damaging the blades. It is possible for blades to cone to the point of actually folding in flight. This is typically due to catastrophic blade stall due to low RPM. This could be uh, RPM has dropped and the pilot did not uh, recognize it and take appropriate action. The RPM drops below a certain point of no recovery. The blades will not spin back into the operating range and eventually they slow down to the point where they are not rigid enough to keep from coning and eventually folding and breaking. I hope this helps 
you understand the helicopter blade coning. And we'll see you in the next video.